Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope everybody has seen this title that how AI can actually help building your logics, specifically if you are in the coding background. Now, logic building is something that you will not be able to just achieve in one day. It takes days and days of practice. It takes uh, solving use cases, you really need to solve a lot of different different use cases. You need to probably see a lot of challenges when you're specifically working in a real world industry project. But uh, when I probably consider AI, yes, uh, I can see there are multiple ways that how you can actually use AI and probably improve your logic building. And that is what I'm actually going to talk about in this specific video. Now guys, uh, in our like, if I say if we go somewhere around five to six years back, you know, and when I had actually started doing programming in 2011 and 12, understand one thing is that we used to read many things from the book, then we used to practice things. And along with that, whenever we used to face challenges, we used to try to solve that particular problem. And at that point of time, if you're not able to achieve something, we used to take help of seniors, we used to probably ask our leads, and then probably come to a conclusion and solve that problem. And as we went ahead, you know, there was internet, there was a lot of solution that we specifically got. You know, I usually started my career in 2011. And at that point of time, I think uh, Stack Overflow was not there. But when we came around 2015, 16, 17, 18, we could see a lot of multiple forums uh, where many people, many, uh, many people in a community started participating, started giving solutions in the form of Stack Overflow, GitHub, Google search, different, different forums as such, right? So at that point of time, we were able to find more and more different solutions. Now, this was the step that we probably, I followed from my initial coding background. And as I went ahead, my, my, my logic building started improving more and more. So if I probably see, if I talk, uh, if I talk about my nine years, 10 years of experience every year, some or the other thing I used to learn. But now what I see the pattern or a trend from three to four years, every freshers, you know, they're able to do this logic building very quickly. And yes, obviously they are practicing more with respect to coding. But the most important thing is that how well you practice with different scenarios and how AI is going to help you over here. Okay, let's just consider Google Bard or Chat GPT as an example. If you are starting coding right now, okay, if you are starting coding right now, or even if you are in uh, if you're having some years of experience working in some real world industry projects, you know, when you are practicing something, right, there are two important things that you really need to do. Because see, when we talk about AI, many will think, many body will think, everybody will think probably that you will not be able to think, you'll just directly go and ask, uh, you know, chat GPT or Google Bard, ask any solutions for a problem statement and you'll be able to get it. No, I'm not talking in that perspective. I'm talking in this perspective that whenever you learn, learn a topic, right? You ask different scenarios question to chat GPT or Google Bard, right? Let's say I am, I'm learning Python programming language. I have learned about recursive function. Okay. I'm just giving you as an example, right? So what I will do is that after practicing each and every questions, let's say I've practiced four, four, four to five different questions. I will even ask chat GPT, Hey, provide me different, different scenarios based on real world scenarios, based on multiple things. And additionally, give me some practice set of questions, right? We will not know like more, like different kinds of questions will definitely come, you know, over then the chat GPT, you will be astonished. Just try it out guys, right? You will get multiple questions over there. Then you'll start thinking, Oh, this is the scenario. When we started coding, you know, at a time when I probably started coding at a time, it was very difficult to find more and more examples. We had to just refer multiple books. And as internet came, we again had to search multiple blogs. But when we consider chat GPT or AI tool as an example, over here like Google Bard or chat GPT, it has capacity to give you a lot many problem statements. And that is where you have to cast that pain point and you have to start practicing more and more. Once you do that specific thing, let's say if you practice based on every problem statement, now you have, you have all these tools who can provide you multiple suggestions. You just need to go ahead and practice it. And then once you're practicing it, if you don't know the solution, as we'll see later on, you can get the solution, but the initial thought process will be that think for that particular problem statement and try to solve it. That is the thing that you really need to do, right? So once you probably cover in this way, 
trust me your logic building will keep on increasing now this pattern specifically why i'm telling this is for freshers if you're starting to code in, in the coding you just started in the coding background right this is the way how you should probably learn learn each and every topic but along with that start practicing where will i get the questions which books i have to refer don't refer anything chat gpt is there google bard is there it can give you hundreds and hundreds of questions based on different different use cases and always try to relate those questions based on specific use case that is the most important point if you are able to do this that eight to nine years probably four to five years that have actually taken for improving my logic building you will be able to improve it much more faster and this is the thing that you really need to understand right even now also if i probably learn any topic let's say in data science i'm learning some complex topic yes i have understood the mathematical intu intuitions but the main thing i try to understand that how it is related to the real world problem statement and how i can probably understand because see if you're able to understand that how it is related to the real world problem statement you get more in-depth intuition about that topic and that is what you really need to do right please start doing this if you have already started i know because i get a lot of questions from many students Krish, i have practiced many more things but still i want to practice from where i can get it everything is available freely for you right see ai tools are something that you really need to you need to start using it to increase your pro productivity to improve your productivity to increase your productivity along with to improve your learnings that is where i am also trying to learn i am also trying to use ai for the, all these kind of factors and this is important for you also guys so start doing it right so i hope you like this particular video this was it for my side i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all take care bye bye